Oh my! I do believe a peasant is watching this video. Only a peasant wouldn't own the new Cap Nestes Cat Lord poster. Your friends will absolutely adore it. <laughs> it's the perfect decorational gift that says I'm a giant creep and I know it. So get it for a limited time only at desmerch.com. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to What the F*** News. My name is Dastrian, I am just the worst. Or so YouTube would have you believe. <gasps> Better watch out! This guy just said the F word! <gasps> I probably complained enough about YouTube in the rant video that I just posted that you guys can find right here. But honestly, what do they expect me to do? Look and act completely normal just to make YouTube happy? Like, howdy, welcome back to What The Frick News. Hi, how's it going? First in What The Frick News, have you seen this weather? It's crazy beans. Wow, is it hot? I just saw a chicken lay an omelet. <laughs> oh my god, stop. Stop it. Get some help. Like, Jesus Christ, I bleep my cuss words. I don't show graphic images unless somehow Adrian Brody's nose is now considered graphic. I don't use copyrighted music, but apparently even humming a song means that your entire livelihood on YouTube gets claimed by someone else. Do you realize how stupid that is? Uh-oh, YouTube. I'm gonna play snippets of copyrighted songs. God piece of ass Whoa, 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 let's not get too angry. I found that the best remedy for anger is a delightful herbal tea brewed straight from the mountains of Nicaragua. Get the f*** out of my face! Oh my. Welcome back to What The F*** News, where we talk about the heckin' weird side of the news that you guys might have missed in the last couple of weeks. And before we do, I'd like to give a huge thanks to the sponsor of this video, Adam and Eve. So if you're unaware, Adam and Eve is a sex toy company that sells the best sex products on the market. From lingerie to ladies' sex toys, lubricants, lotions, and fellas, don't think I'm leaving you out. They have an entire section for dudes as well. And uh, also they just sent me a random box of just stuff to review for you guys, I guess. So, uh, no idea what's in this, but let's just check it out. I can't wait to be demonetized. Oh, oh my. See, we've got the Intimate Curves Rechargeable Wand. This is not what this product is for, but this feels great, dude. I'm the Vibrating Blade Master. That's right, it's not a sword. You're not a sword. Oh god, what is this? A penis pump? Why do they think I need this? And then finally, sex swing. Never gonna use it, but I have one now. So guys, if you'd like to check them out, make sure to go to adamandeve.com, use my special code SMITH for 50% off and free shipping in the US and Canada. How do I get out of this thing? But anyways, the first thing I want to talk about today is Area 51. <laughs> So as you've probably seen by now, the entire internet is talking about storming the secret government base in Nevada after a Facebook group called Storm Area 51, They Can't Stop All of Us, went viral. After more and more people signed up to the group with now over 3 million people saying they're going, including Kanye West, who in an interview said that he was one of the first to sign the petition. Thank you, Kanye. Very cool. The creator of the page, Maddie Roberts, said that the entire thing started as a joke and just got wildly out of hand. After he started getting DMs to the page saying people were willing to die for it. I've had a couple people DM the page where they're like, I'm willing to die for the government, let's do this, and I'm just like, oh my god, bud. Why is it that the internet can't, for the love of agree on anything to help the planet? But as soon as someone gets the idea to Naruto run through Area 51, the entire internet's like, sign me up, yes. Like, what? And it's also baffling that just so many people are lining up knowing that they're probably gonna be shot at. You do know that there are signs around the perimeter saying deadly force is authorized, right? Everyone going to Area 51's like, guess I'll die. In the details section of the page, it says, we will all meet up in rural Nevada and coordinate our parties. If we Naruto run, we can move faster than their bullets. I don't, I don't think that's right. But I guess anything is possible with the power of anime, am I right? I have the power of God and anime on my side! Wait, In addition to the Facebook page, the creator also started selling merch, as well as creating an entire website dedicated to the meme, which has an official Storm Area 51 theme song featuring some of the most putrid dubstep I've ever heard. If we Naruto run, we can run faster than their bullets. And with such a massive viral sensation, the U.S. Air Force itself responded, saying that they are, quote, 100% ready to protect Area 51 and all its secrets. <laughs> okay, but right there, you just gave away that there's secrets. Boom! Got him. You're telling me that a secret government facility has secrets? No way. Yeah. They're just scared that we're gonna go down there, we're gonna find the cube that turns technology into Decepticons. And it turns out that after the Air Force issued this warning, the page got over a million new signups. Dude, you can't tell the internet not to do something. When are you gonna learn your lesson. And honestly, I highly doubt there's any aliens in there, but what we can probably all agree on is that there's most definitely a jetpack in there. A jetpack! 
Guys, if storming Area 51 means that the world will finally get jetpacks, I'm on board. Jetpacks. Stop saying jetpacks. And here's the thing, even if there were aliens in Area 51, you know that we as humans would just blow them the f*** up. There are people out there that can't accept that humans have other skin colors. Can you imagine those people when there's actually races from other planets walking around like... Hello. Ah! And I'm not saying that I would. In fact, I'd probably be the first person to invite an alien over and be like, Yo, dog, you wanna play some Jack and Daxter? It's dope. You're gonna love it. And he'd be like... <laughs> I'd be like, dude, I don't know what you just said, but for the last time, can you stop elevating my cat with your mind? <laughs> Again, no idea. Just please stop it. His name would be Brody. I'd have him make me grilled cheese and we'd be the best of friends. But unfortunately, that's not the world we live in. <sighs> oh, Brody. You're not even real and I'm reminiscing on all the times we never got to have. But despite all that, the event appears to still be happening with the page creator basically trying to turn the entire thing into a giant music festival so that no one, you know, dies. Which is cool, but I'm kind of sad that all of this is happening on the 20th of September. Because if you waited one more day, we could all sing September by Earth, Wind, and Fire and it would be f***ing magical. I'd play the song, but YouTube sucks, so. Am I allowed to hum it? No, sorry guys. Do you remember? Don't do it. The 21st night of September. You just had to do it. Gosh freaking dang it, man. Next mother news. If you're hoping that 2019 would turn around and not be a blistering anal sore, I have got some really bad news for you. <laughs> just when you thought the world couldn't get any more stupid after the Tide Pod Challenge and the Fire Challenge, a video went viral showing off the newest idiotic trend to grace the internet called the Ice Cream Challenge, where people go into a grocery store, lick the inside of an unopened ice cream carton, and then put it back. Lick it, lick it, lick it. Oh, you foul. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Oh, you, you are- <sighs> Okay guys, I'm not exaggerating when I say I'd rather hang out with a serial axe murderer than someone that does this shit. I'd rather hang out with Gary Giggles from Spy Kids 2. And that kid sucks. And what's even worse about this is, like I said, it essentially turned into a challenge where people are finding their own incredibly gross thing to do in a grocery store. From using mouthwash and putting it back into the container, to straight up spitting in tea and putting it back on the shelf. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with these people? I don't want to live on this planet anymore. But anyway, since the trend started popping up, many grocery stores have gone as far as locking up their ice cream or putting a guard around the frozen food section in order to stop copycats from trying it out. And that's not a joke. I went to Walmart like two weeks ago and not only was I being followed around the entire time, but there was also legitimately a stationed guard in the frozen food section who kept giving me mean looks. I mean that could also be because I was wearing a shirt that just said anal on the front, but how was I supposed to know when I joined the At Night Archery League that the anagram for it was anal? Do I look like the kind of guy that would plan that out for a joke? <laughs> Following the incident, the ice cream company Bluebell, who was the victim of the dastardly deed, responded with an apology for some reason, saying, We are incredibly sorry and we take this incident very seriously. We are working with law enforcement, retail partners, and social media platforms. This type of incident will not be tolerated. Okay, Bluebell. Like, what are you gonna do? Also, I'm just confused as to why they even apologize at all. Like, what? <laughs> like, was anyone actually mad at Bluebell for this? Who am I kidding? It's 2019. Of course they were. Dude, if I was them, I just would have been sarcastic as f Like, I'm so sorry that we make ice cream so delicious that this person couldn't wait to get it home. I'm also so sorry that we're all trying to save the environment, but not making more plastic to put on the top of your f***ing ice cream. See this sad turtle with plastic around him? Next time you see this dead-ass turtle walk up on shore, that's on you, dude. That's on you, Ben and Jerry's. Very true that you never see Briars have this problem, but then again, our ice cream doesn't taste like a homeless dude's frosted cum. You're at a high enough risk of getting hepatitis without someone licking your products. Sincerely, Bluebell. Eat a dick. On the positive side, though, the girl in the video that started the whole thing has been arrested and charged, but likely won't face any jail time since she's a minor, but am I the only person that was rooting for the death penalty here? Then again, this is coming from the same person who thinks that every old person past the age of 70 should be put into a Hunger Games-style battle tournament where the winner gets to live. <laughs> I'm just imagining what that would actually look like and what the commentators would even do the entire time. Three, two, one, go! And they're off, and it looks like Professor Jenkins out of Wentworth, Kentucky is in the lead right now. And he is still going. Still, 
still going. Now, by our estimates, it seems as though uh, he will be getting to the cornucopia first uh, at around 10.30 a.m. tomorrow. And here we have 80-year-old Clyde Dodgers with a bow uh, who doesn't appear to have any arrows on him. Oh, no. He looks like he doesn't actually know that you need arrows for that kind of weapon. He's looking at it like it's some sort of magical... Oh, okay. Well, he's dead. He uh, looks like he got impaled by a javelin there. You know, I'm actually surprised that one of our contestants has enough strength to hurl that javelin because that was a pretty impressive throw right there. Here we have 92-year-old Patty Walker who seems to be trying to use her life alert button. Obviously, she's a little confused uh, seeing no one's actually coming to help her. It's not uncommon to see in these tournaments, Steve. One of them appears to not be interested in the battle at all and is instead writing a card to their grandson asking why he never comes to her house anymore. That is just sad. I'm really unsure as to where she got the paper and pen, Bob. So I guess if there's anything to take away from this story, it don't do disgusting challenges because you think it'd be cool and because everyone else is doing it. Because you know what's really cool is being yourself. And last in what the f*** news... I can't believe I have to say this again. In the aftermath of one of the hottest heat waves in recorded history, women across the world have taken the matter into their own hands by shoving popsicles into their vaginas. What the f***? Pretty soon I'm gonna be known on YouTube as just the guy that tells people not to put things in their cooters. I'm gonna need a f medical degree because so many people are gonna ask me sh like, Hey Destry, is it okay to put this battery in there? No! Don't put anything in there! What about this can of beans? No! What about this limited edition JoJo Siwa cup that says JoJo's juice on it? No. Okay, but hear me out. What about this live swordfish? Why? First it was garlic, cucumbers, and bath bombs, and then vacuum hoses. Now popsicles? Can you just knock it off? To the literally all of you saying, Destry, I have never done any of those things. Why are you yelling at me? First, I want you to stop lying and just admit what you've done. That's the first step to recovery. Did you know that 17 out of 5 women who are eating dessert are putting it in their body? What? <laughs> Second, I'm yelling because this is the third video I've made telling people the same sh and I know a ton of you probably think it's so funny to send me these stories every single week. But you know what's really funny? Missing a clavicle because I punched you so hard it vanished. And you're probably like, Dustin, you don't have to talk about these stories. Oh really? I don't have to cover this story? Well cool, let's see what other kind of stories I could have covered this week. Peppa Pig's height freaks out entire internet. Or what about teenagers knee look like they have two baby faces trapped inside of them. Get ready gang, who wants to talk about this lady's knee for five minutes? Yeah, that's a real story. Or how about R. Kelly is finally in prison? Actually, that's a good one. I probably should have covered that. But yes, according to several calls into hospitals in the UK area, as well as several other tweets, there's been as many as 20 recorded cases of women putting frozen treats in their beef curtains. <laughs> Dr. Sarah Welsh, the co-founder of Hank's Condoms, warns against this, saying, This can cause a whole heap of issues, such as burning sensation, itching, or general pain, and can cause infections, irritations, and damage. There are many things that should never go near a vagina, and ice lollies are up there. Ladies, if you really want something to shove in your vagina, I have a great sponsor for you. <laughs> Make sure to use code SMITH for 50% off! Okay. Once again, I've been tasked with the burden of informing everyone about this with my very concise and informative tweet reading, Don't put a popsicle in your vagina. But how am I supposed to cool down from the vacuum damage? I'm done. I'm done. If one of you sends another one of these stories to me, I'm gonna f kill someone. Probably a clavicle related death. Because no matter what I say or how many times I say it, you just don't get it. What do I need to do? Start selling merch that just says don't put weird sh in your vagina? Some stickers maybe? <laughs> I'm just imagining putting stickers all around town. People are like, what the hell is this for? <laughs> Anyways, that is it for this episode of What the F*** News. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel. The question of the day for you guys is, are you going to the Area 51 raid? If you don't want to answer for legal reasons, feel free to roast me in the comments down below to this picture for a chance to be in an upcoming video. And I can't wait for my self-esteem to hit record heights. It's going to be through the roof. Also, big thanks to Stacey LaBelle and all of my beautiful patrons who allow me to keep doing what I love. Definitely consider joining and help support the show and everything I do over at patreon.com slash captaindestas. This month I'm actually filming a music video, so there's gonna be a lot of behind the scenes over on Patreon, so check that out if you're interested in any of that. And also, before we go, I would be remiss if we didn't spend a second just to issue one final farewell to Brody the alien. Though he only existed in our minds, I truly feel like I have lost a friend. So if we could all bow our heads in silence for Brody the alien while a terrible cover of Evanescence plays. Wake me up! Wake me up inside! I 
fucking wake up! Okay, thank you. That's it guys, I will see you next time for another one of the news. Thanks for watching and fair winds.